A lunar eclipse is happening Friday morning. While there's going to be a lot of clouds in the area, there's a little window early in the morning as the clouds move out, we might be able to see it. Remember, a lunar eclipse you can look at with the naked eye because we're watching Earth's shadow being cast on the moon. So let's time it out. All right, so early in the morning on Friday is when you can see the eclipse. If we have clear skies, let's time it out. The eclipse will begin at 2.18 in the morning. Then at 4 in the morning, that's when the majority of Earth's shadow is going to be covering up the moon. About 3% of the moon will be visible at this point. It'll look really cool if you have clear skies. And then by 5.47 in the morning, the eclipse will be over and the moon will start to get bright and full once again since it is a full moon. Now, where are the clouds going to be? Well, by 2 to 3 a.m., the areas in red are all going to be blocked with cloud cover because of that cold front that's moving in. After the front moves through and moves out, then we'll see some clearing. So what does it look like around 4 o'clock in the morning? Well, there's some clearing starting to happen, maybe across the Middle Peninsula, maybe for the Eastern Shore, maybe for parts of the peninsula in Williamsburg. And this is at the time when it's at a maximum eclipse. So it'd be a good time to look. But for much of the Hampton Road cities on the south side and in North Carolina, I don't think we're going to see much from this eclipse as the clouds will likely linger until it ends. So we may be missing out. We'll see what happens with the clouds. If you want to get up early enough and take a look, all you have to do is look for the moon. It's easy enough to spot that. Happy viewing!